Hi, Sarif. Good evening. How are you? Hi, sir. Good evening. I'm good. How about you? I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. Sarif, me and the team are excited to know about yeah. your profile. Why yeah. excited? Because you are currently working as an Indian government. Yes. So in India, everyone, you know, to getting a government job, they're taking, you know, three, four year time to get a job. Even some people are spending entire life to get a job, but you already working yeah. in government uh, sector, the government of India. Again, you were planning to move data analyst yeah. to job in IT sector. Why? Okay. okay. I'll tell my opinion, my view, I'll tell you that. Like uh, the government job is like everybody's view is like a government job is a secured one. And uh, there will be uh, le very less work so that uh, we'll be we'll get set free and we'll enjoy our life. See, the human being is evolved in a way that uh, we have to work more, we have to learn more so that we will, we will live better. So in my view, in, in this department, yes, it's good only, but I'm not getting that, that much exposure. I, have more, I think I have more potential to do something. So I'm, I'm very much interested in data analytics. That's why I learned it. So uh, I'm not getting that much exposure. So I'm trying to get into the IT sector where I can learn more. So that's my opinion. Nice. And we cannot, like yeah. Uh, really, Another thing, uh, we can't set our yeah. comfort zone. Yeah, that that's a true. Because yes, uh, if you're learning, you can grow your more for future. Big outside world is yes. a very big. You can very, uh, yes. go anywhere. The you should not. Uh, uh, some limitation should not be in career. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's a great I initiative. Agree. Definitely, I'll, I'll reach out your goal. That is my wish. Uh, thank you. Thank so you, coming thank you so to much. your uh, like uh, technical things uh, today, we're taking interview for technical. So tell me, in uh, like, which database you uh, use in your uh, data? Microsoft SQL. Microsoft SQL. Yes. Well, I'm telling you, Microsoft database. Uh, can you give few examples that other databases are available in market, and which one is a popular database? Uh, there are a lot of uh, databases are uh, available in the market. Uh, one is uh, Microsoft SQL, MySQL, Postgre and uh, ibm db2 yeah mm. so much databases are there yeah i remember these things as of now okay nice thank nice. yeah. so you have very good knowledge on database good yes, yes. so what i'm telling database what do you mean a database uh, database is like a container it will contain it will contain data so it, whether it may be objects anything it, it contains data it will give you the uh, access to uh, you mean i mean uh, store the data into a database Okay. So what is data? What do you mean by data? When you can simplify a simple answer so others can understand that. what is data? What do you mean by it? Uh, this is a type of a question which cannot be explained because data is everything. It may be a details of a student. It may be details of some product, whatever it may be. Everything is a data. If everything is a data, what is the difference between data and information? Uh, so uh, information, it's like a meaningful data. Uh, so uh, data is, is like anything like, uh, for example, if you say, uh, which is organized one, so it will, uh, so for example, I can say uh, in, a, in a tabular column, if you see something in a columns, we are having, uh, for example, we are having three columns and then every column having some uh, different data, like student marks and his grade. So uh, it's a meaningful information we can have uh, within the data, but it is uh, written in uh, unstructured format, so it's not useful. There is a, that is a difference between data and uh, information. Okay, nice. Yeah. So uh, when coming to SQL uh, code, uh, like what is SQL join and what are the different SQL join you used? Uh, SQL join allows us to uh, join two tables, which is uh, we should have a common column in, in between them. Uh, generally, we are having four type of joins. Uh, one is self join and uh, inner join and uh, cross join. And another one is, uh, which one I can't remember. Yeah, cross join and. Uh, okay, okay. No problem. Yeah. Okay. So in uh, like a different type of uh, like a uh, view we are using like uh, to manage the data. Can you tell me what is the okay. advantage of a view and why a uh, company are using SQL views? Yeah, view is like a, you know, a graphic, uh, sorry, a virtual representation of a data. 
Okay. Basically, most widely the companies companies are using the views to secure their actual data. Like the, for example, there is a base table of a, a reputed company. So uh, in a project, they will be giving the access to the views, not to the base tables. So the data, data is secured and it cannot be manipulated. So uh, one of the most uh, uh, top example is this only, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, I think you know that uh, SQL functions, mostly data mm -hmm. operation uh, activities you involve in this SQL function. Can you tell me what are the different function you uh, daily used and uh, be the expert so it will be easy to understand? Yeah, there are a lot of uh, functions are present in SQL. Uh, so in my project, uh, I will be using a substring I'm using and a trim function also is there. Yeah. And uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I remember to that program. Okay. What about the uh, aggregate function and scalar functions? Yeah, yeah. Ag aggregate functions are also there. Yeah, aggregate functions, some average, and uh, scalar functions are also there. Yeah. So if you're telling aggregate function and scalar function, do you have any idea yeah. what is the difference between aggregate function and scalar function? Uh, mostly aggregate will aggregate function is based on numerical thing, which will give a return of value, a numerical value. And scalar functions mainly performed on strings, string data. Okay. Do you have a pen paper with you, Sarif? Yes, yes, uh, yeah. I do have. Yeah. yeah. So I write the SQL syntax that fetch yeah. a record that present in one table, but not in second table. Just what okay, to your is... concept. It's fine. You will yeah. not write the code, it's fine. Okay. Uh, before that, I'll consider one table as a student and one table as a teacher. Okay. Yeah. Is that fine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here in this scenario, we will use a, we will use a concept of subquery. So I'll uh, drop that syntax in a uh, chat box. Is it okay for you? Yeah, but yeah, that is fine. But uh, if another way you can get the data. So any any idea? Another way we can use set operator also. Okay. Yeah, I, I think in, I think except we can use except. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, query you check there. once. I'll yeah. not uh, comment now. Uh, you can check okay. once the uh, after okay. this finish. Okay. 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 What are the different type of schema available in RDBMS? Different type of schema means in the sense, like uh, uh, you know, a schema. Hope you understand the database concept. Yeah, yeah. Database having some. Yeah, having it's it is having a schema. In the schema, we'll be having a. Uh, mainly databases. Yeah, like and uh, tables. Star schema, snowflake schema, yeah, okay, okay, galaxy. Okay, okay, okay. okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, no problem. All right. Mm -hmm. What about my data validation in Excel? And what other type of validation we can apply? Uh, so the, the data validation used in Excel to uh, restrict the data, like in the form, you know, like you know. Uh, which type of a data should be entered in a particular cell or a column. So we can do, use the data validation. For example, uh, the age of a human being should not be less than zero. So if we use, a, for example, of a data validation, we can give the validation as uh, A should not be less than zero. We can give a formula which is uh, A should not be uh, less than zero. Okay. Yeah. What are the maximum size of a data we can store in Microsoft Excel? So we have Microsoft Excel will be having a uh, 10 lakhs, 48,000 and something uh, rows will be there. That okay. much maximum data we can see. Yeah. Data we can store. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you have exposure into Tableau tool also? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, somewhat uh, exposure on Tableau. Okay. What is the difference between dimension and measure in Tableau? Uh, dimensions are the independent variables and measurements on the dependent variables. Mostly measurements will be having numerical values. And measure in dimensions, uh, we'll be having a uh, column columns yes, uh, like that. But uh, in uh, dimensions also, we'll be in sometimes we'll be having major uh, numerical values also there. Sometimes. Nice, nice. Yeah. What is the difference between live and extract in Tableau? Okay. For example, uh, if I uh, can I go with an example? Yeah, you can tell the concept is fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, for example, we are uh, we are in Zoom meeting right now. This is a live meeting. Yeah. So it's like a live data. So the data which will be manipulated in the source file, so it will uh, directly reflect uh, reflect the uh, target. You mean, you mean like, uh, 
source whatever changes in happen in source table it will not changes in your target okay yes yes yeah. that is called a extract live mean whatever changes yeah, in source now i'm telling about the live live data okay got it Okay. okay live data target will be roughly uh, uh, targeted and uh, in extract data it's like a pre recorded video it's like a okay. pre recorded video. yeah pre recorded data yeah okay what is dual access in tableau uh, while we are using uh, uh, two graphs so if, if we want to see the two graphs or two visualization within a graph in a single graph so we'll use the dual axis there is an option in a um, call uh, you know measurement or dimension and you can right click and uh, enable the dual axis okay uh for the telling data you are uh, as a working in the indian government so when you telling internal data and external data what okay. is that internal data and external data can you give a few example yeah as of now uh, i can give an example like internal data means it's like a local database like for example uh, earlier i was i have already told you that i have earlier working uh, in a customer exposure so yeah. we'll be having the data within our local database so we'll be using that internal data and external data is uh, uh, outside data maybe it's from our server maybe from the client side or it may be a audio data video data from social media whatever it may be okay and what type of data you deal generally it is like structure semi structure or unstructured data yeah mostly structured data why because we uh, almost into finance background and so customer data only mostly we are we will do uh, dealing but the data is not in the clean format so we have to clean it okay nice yeah. so like uh, coming to your uh, no notice period how soon you can join if you like you resign from indian government how soon you yeah. join from our company um basically uh, the official notice period is was uh, 30 days yeah. but uh, i have a, a great relationship with my manager uh, so i can uh, relieve uh, less than 15 days okay i can get relieved within 15 days approximately any any, any challenges that you faced in your organization like in postal department you were working so how you overcome yeah. can you give an example so that uh, uh team can understand more about that yeah, there are two type of challenges which i have which i have faced in my uh, work in a job working uh, so the first one is like you know in the organization uh, so uh, always i wanted to learn something so i have a, I, i think i have more potential to learn something and uh, get into feet uh, better future will be having so i, I was uh, having a big challenge to manage the time that was my biggest challenge and uh, coming to my this data analysis part so the data is yeah somewhat huge only because we are holding the whole division data so the our manager will be giving uh, every time every month data he will be giving to increase the revenue by getting the insights so the if earlier so clean the data I, so most of the data is uncleaned not like in uh, uh, not like others the data is very much uh, unclean so uh, Uh, earlier stage it was somewhat difficult later i have overcome it by practicing every day more concentration more understanding the data more discussion then i got to know that yeah clean data also we can do in a faster way so that is our achieve okay nice so uh, like uh, do you consider yourself as a success sorry yeah definitely definitely uh, i consider myself as success only so i never gave up and uh, from the past two years also uh, i so my weakness is like uh, i was a little you know uh, low in uh, uh, time management so i have uh, overcome it i thought like yeah, i can't manage both the working and uh, this one and also to overcome this and to learn the data analytics i have joined one um, uh, institution also and there i also done my internship also there i got a lot of knowledge and it's a very uh, good institute and i which institute you joined the sex yeah data again it is placed in bangalore which okay. is the best uh, institute to learn data analytics okay. as my my opinion thank you thank you sir thanks for your time and uh, as uh, your journey starting from a uh, government sector to software field definitely it will be success uh, i wish you all the best for your uh, next uh, journey and career and our hr will get back uh, if you are going for further down
Okay. Thank you. Thanks for thank your you, time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, it was a very nice talking to you. Thank you.